A little bit. Kesnit primed to receive contact first, but the flash sets Aspas up perfectly. He does have to respond, and Aspas takes a glancing blow and is forced off the angle. King there lingers too long, and Shy also punishes. Aspas flashed out here. Can't play aggressive as he'd like to. And Tex tried to emerge from Cubby. Spike it's back and forth mid. stuff, but the spike is loose in mid. And Klaus emerges straight to market. And Leviathana down to just two. Now Aspas with it all to do in mid. What? 81 HP. Seeing QCK go for this play quite frequently. Oh, so fast up mid our crew right now, droning out B main. They know that there's no one there. They want to hit the gas on this split right now, but actually slowing things down. Fighting spawn. Great kill from Heat. I see, no, no. There was a veritable landslide of players about to hit him after that knife. Tick three. Aspas has made a reposition here towards market. And this is something crew have done so well this season with Klaus's calling, slowing things down in these scrappy situations, baiting out peaks. To be main smoke here coming all the way across from King. Finally, Aspas gets the pick he was looking for, but Cobb is going to be there with a follow up. The Odin from Speedway is good for two. Aspas is going to give ground. The smoke forces him back. Tech's not ready for that from Elsa. And now we're in a two versus two. We need to see Lev converge now. One through market, they split themselves up as King will go via B main. That little recon from Klaus was so nice. Oh, Aspas is going to be hoping to pick up a rifle here. Would be far better than the AWP. Of course, Klaus, look at his HP three right now, just spraying away with that Come Odin. Pushing on Speedway now. Melsa takes the contact. Klaus hoping to play off of that, but in no position to do so. The smoke obscured his view. Now has to go. Wants to line up tiles and spray down. Shy seen this from EG as well. It's a good little crunch. Com takes a ton of damage stood inside that nano swarm. They're gonna hear him falling off right now as well, and they're trying to take the space off the back of it. He got there. Now Aldro now gonna see three plays. He's gonna very quickly have to find his feet. He at least gets rid of Kesnit. Klaus the hunter's fury finds its mark. King tried to TP out of it to Jen, but it was lined up for that too. Klaus gets away with literal murder, but Aspas is now here to hold the site. Is he gonna quickly make his way through and expeditiously Lever put together a defense here? Another for Mazzino. And it's all on Shy. Texan Mazzino now, back to back over on that A side. When they preempt. Yeah, retain this mid control. Try and work up towards Cat. Draw some attention A here. And then work back into a B split, it looks like. Now command for Heat. Again, trying to signal heavy pressure over towards Tree. But in fact, it comes through market. Mazzino, those whites to it. Aspas was waiting for them and cobbles them up. Down to three for crew. Mazzino takes another stunning timing. And he was not ready for it. Aspas is about to get busy though. Proper busy. Shy here trying to force him off the angle. He will prevail. As Mazzino wants to inch forward to try and cover for Aspas being forced back and they've seen the spike go loose. It's all Shy. He's moved up to Logs now on the one versus two and he can't get... He's rotated up to heaven with the operator to try and fight me. Most of Lev though in retake positions behind that smoking tree, but Aspas takes first contact. Unperturbed for now about the lockdown. And there's more where that came from. It's going to be Com now with the Hunter's Fury cross map, no less to A main. Door's going to come down, and now Aspas can inch back into the site. Klaus with an Odin, one flash in the hands of Heat, but he's playing in a flank position. He has the opportunity to be the man to win the round here. Danger, danger! Heat with two! Mazzino now knows, and he's able to undo him. Crew now with two players to work with in the post plant. They do not have heaven control. Klaus in hell with the Odin. Down to 70. Kesnit also has seen better days. This is ugly. Kesnit has to go large. He's clear towards Cat, and the smoke is down. And they're going to hit the gas off of it, but King with the first. Yeah, Kesnit trying to make his way through with a dash, but gets caught, and King is too clean with it. Another? No, Klaus able to bring him down, but he's traded instantly. Now at least you have a player in Melsa who advances into the side, but Spike is loose just outside of A-Main. Snipe going to get that information as well. At this point, what can Melser and Shy do? Lev are just going to take their time. They don't need to overpeak or take a single fight here. Can just play for this 4v2 retake and should be able to do it with ease. And saving hardly feels like an option now when you have Melser. 30 seconds left. Stranded inside A. Cover going Was out. just waiting for that smoke cycle to put it over doors so they can safely the retrieve the spike. You have to imagine when they tap here. Lever going to be inclined to go, but actually, no, with the time this low, they really don't need to. They can wait this out a little bit. The right shock here. dart Standing almost ahead. connecting. Melsa at 31, and he's late. Com should be a matter of course for him to bring that kill down, but they could pass Shy. Okay, Aspas able to recover it this. Is. I mean, he only has three deaths. They've just not been able to deal with this man. 
at all. Trying to mix things up with that A hit, but not paying off for crew here about their ability to do so. Two rounds at A, crew get nothing from them, and this one might go a similar way. He brought down inside that Nell Command, and they're gonna attempt to bring him back. Klaus presumably has a safe angle to do it. Kesnit though, elsewhere, okay. So Money, but it pays off. That shock down means Lip don't know if crew are in yet, but they're definitely gonna know about it now. Mazzino takes contact moving up stairway, but yep, Con was 18 HP. That Molly was always gonna do him in. Shy loves being here at logs, but doesn't really have a swing. At least able to find Mazzino on the trade. Melsa now gonna come back up speed where the spike is still dropped in B main, so we will see crew continue to fight here. But it's just King. Shy keep himself out of line. The sights! Positions that he really does thrive in. And why he's been such a great addition to this crew squad. Of course, was on lead for the longest time, Shy. Opted to leave this year, join crew. Typically, I mean, outside of that LCQ. Licking his lips in anticipation for that one. Gives away the game about the Odin! And they've baited him in with- Tragedy! With the alarm bot! <laughs> Absolute tragedy, and now it's King with all to do here at Logs. Holds his ground, good trigger discipline, that's two! And it is a two and done at the very least. Here come Lev now, starting to encroach. Kesnit though has pushed his way forward, he's punished for it. Oh, he's just doing way too much there. It's a 3v3 and Klaus has the Hunter's Fury online. Mazzino, how to win that out? That is raw! And Aspas claim. Com has the Odin, they were looking for something in tiles, they don't find it. Here's the Hunter's Fury from Klaus. Checks back sight, sees nothing. We'll find Aspas there in market. The aforementioned who gets brought down by the knife. This time Kesnit says, I've got better weaponry to make this deep dive. And B is all open. Great entry from him, but look at this. Drones are re-clear B main now. This is going to be a huge brawl here late in the round. It's going to give up the game. They're going to know Lever coming. Here comes Mazzino, flash around the corner. Does he know there's three though? How could you? Tex finds another. Shy gives himself away. And now the lockdown is going to be an issue. Shy eventually gets brought down. And Com makes it very clear that he wanted Klaus more than dead. Kesnit will have to play outside of this for now. Spike already down, of course. Kesnit back to the side, doesn't get spotted on the cross, apparently. Saw a TP there by King O towards Speedway, wants to try and find the angle. Kesnit is running low on Silverware. Just Kesnit here to take this contact. He attempts to dash away now, back into Boathouse as the reinforcements have to be called. Blow the horn of Gondor, brother. Nicely done. He eats Mazzino all on his own. Just good for the one, as Aspas is able to answer. Couple players get lit up by the recon there, and Klaus will capitalize. Now calm and main perfect flash should be dealt with easily. Four on two now, both players back sight. Back to back, it's King and Aspas, as it always has been. Another beauty from Aspas here, and King wants to get involved, and he does! How have they turned this around? Klaus has to he knows this, I'm sure. Lev, they went ahead and, oh my god. Plays off the angle, waits for the flash. Here we go! And he's just better! Klaus, though, raises the ante. Completely shutting down that presence here for Lev through the middle part of the map. Now it's a little awkward for Mazzino. Unsure if he should be trending elsewhere. He's about to get some action, though, coming out from Catwalk. And Mel's is too good. Spike down mid. Well done here from Crew on the verge of closing things out. They've got the spike down. Good rotations there on the defense, picking up those angles that they knew would left. be exposed with Shy down that turret and main offline. They had a feeling Tex might try to take advantage of it, but King with a shot right now. Awkward. Very oh, awkward. Levy, yeah. and this aggressive take of the extremity. And Tex, faster on the shit, six shooter. And that might just be the nail in the coffin. Heat here on the A site. Gonna have to go crazy, Melser as well. Maybe they can set up some kind of crossfire. They're trying to do as much with Heat focusing his attention here on that A main side and Melser all the way playing backside, back behind Dice. They're gonna have to make an absolute miracle happen. Tex really putting the nail in the coffin there. Might be about shy, making something happen in mid. But for now, it's Leviathan making their way through. They do. Light out the KO with their knives. Mazzino at the four here. So span through the water fight. Tifa Bell's already fell down and crew aren't getting it. And Tex will be lit. One off his alt orb. He just picked it up. The lockdown is going to be in play as well. Melsa 
token attempt to buy a little bit of time and it does slow Leviathan down. As we speak, Com is making his way down Cat, so there is the potential for a late pinch for him. And the lockdown now to be played off of. Oh, that's Whoa. awkward! Oh, he's able to find him. The Stinger actually finds its mark there in an advantage situation. Oh. Kesner is stuck in the left hand corner though. Can't do anything about Mazzino and the Knights are now out. Three players to work with for Crew now. Klaus has already tried to get up towards Heaven. Spotted out by the Recon. Unbothered by this though. As he has the superior weaponry, no doubt about it. He is so low wire. And the only Vandal in play as well. Here they come from topside, the judge, or is it jury? An executioner for Aspas is the aim. And crew taking his sweet time now, one falling one down. by one, and my goodness! And that pistol round. Again, says Aspas with the chat sheriff by this time around. He was 11 and 2 after five rounds against G2 on defense. Off to a good start already as Kesnit wanders somehow into the crosshair. Heats has nowhere to go. It's Lev have this one. Oh. Buying up too much here and they completely unbothered. In the meantime, though, that was all a distraction for the, the brawn of the crew force to try and work their way towards A, but it's just falling apart, folding like a cheap chair. This is brutal. They brought two ghosts into this round, Lev Yatan. It's all too easy. Class with a shock to work with. Catches a tiny on combo. Getting off some space off the Viper's wall. Kesner trades spike one. Down. King's gonna be there though. Sees the spike go loose and no opportunity for a trade. Aspas takes a sidebar. That's allowed Kesner to creep up a little bit more. He doesn't see the top wow, of his head. There we go. Three for Kesner. Now we're cooking. Mazzino ascends the stairs. Get out of my Still way. no plan yet. So some of that YouTube will come to interrupt, but the blades are coming out. Even for the squad. That's the question for crew. If you wanted enough, this is what it's going to take. The weapon here thrives. Clearing some trips. Still one left in place there. For Tex. Playing inside the cyber cage, gets a light, but Kesnit a little bit too fast. Starting to run rush shot over them here on the B site. Looks like Mazina wants to peer in here from around Berlin. And they will allow a plant for crew, and he will hold this line. Finally, this team is awake. Some signs of life here, some fire into this round, a fast hit on to B. We haven't seen a lot of it, just big explosive hits from either team so far on their attack sides. Things a bit more slow paced, monotonous at times. The crew with some explosivity, Kesnit two first kills in a row now. Finally, things are rolling for this team, and it feels like we might be getting a real game on our hands. And he was over that B side like Moss on a rock wire. He wasted zero time getting in. That's the kind of fast hit that was conspicuously absent from Crew's playbook on Ascent and walked through some smokes on the A main. It was ugly stuff. And this has prompted a three gun save for Leviathan. And they realize now the drone is in and now Kesner trying to get some space onto the site. Okay, actually coming from the left hand side here, catching Mazzino with utility in hand. Com flash there, forced to back down the stairway. He gets lit up again. Now that Util's getting into the back of the site here, shock ignored by Heat as he steps up after bringing Tex to heal. Com did find Klaus low. They want, in. they want to get this operator out of Aspas's hands. But they'd have to be cold and dead for that to happen. And it wouldn't happen any other way. Shai takes him down and King cannot cross to recover that weapon. Gonna bring the Vandal away so the trips don't actually get turned off. Okay, Aldrone brought down. Hunter's Fury. Keyed up here for Com. Checking some of the common locations. He does get lit for a moment, and that is all the King needs oh. to sweep for three. Spike that might be a. enough. Com here, gonna give it a little bit of room. Kesnit. With the spike drop back in B main. It might be Shy that has to go and find that. There's a trip, and he knows it. He's cleared that out. Now Leviathan know all they need to. That Shy has converged upon A to join Kesnit. Trying to give some space for Kesnit to get the spike, and he does just that. I have two cross positions here. Shai is actually going to go all the way back around and try and get into A main to help Kesnik. Can he do it in time though? Look at the pressure, the recon revealing his position as well. He has time, Wyatt. He's going to get there. A lot of these shocks coming through, but Tech swings one on Kesnik and now it's all on Shai. And it's not part for him. Even further now, Aspas and Tex. Okay, that's what it takes for Aspas to find his. It was traded out though. <laughs> so my last spot gets away with it. <laughs> that trip causing some danger. Exactly really could have gone down there. Oh my god, King! 
Almost threw his life away there in main. Trying straight into heat. Look at the crew position, and Kestnet has managed to walk all the way down all's got behind because Tex was down, the trips weren't active. Yeah, they left the lane open, exploiting the lack of Cypher. Mazito at least able to try and right the wrongs here, but he's low. Yeah, that snake body had to back away from awful quick. Another molly to key it up. If he finds more value, even just damage here, he'll be pleased. And a full kill for Mazino at 6 HP. <laughs> so much to do. And he's won the Hunter's Fury for Klaus. Melser with that Viper's pin and it's Kesnit. Maybe his fourth, fifth, first blood of the game. This guy, he is heated up. Able to punish that aggressive foray from Leviathan. A crucial double for Kesnit, no pun intended. And now that B-side is essentially wide open behind these Viper walls. Mazino might want to pop through here. Flash heat out of that corner. This could be good for a freebie. He's able to get over and no one else is watching the line. It's just frankly, I mean, they yeah, were... Yeah, it's coughing, baby. ...has been so different since then. I mean, come on. There's two players. It's a double swing. And there's an operator... He's walking down. Kesnet taking that first engagement. What is it? First two kill. I mean, it is out of control, it is absurd, but Aspas, they're not aware that he's pushed up, so he's gonna be able to trade one back and just barely slip something with some buttons and pocket lint, creating gold. Not this time, though. Spike down Com transmutes B. him to dust. There'll be more action here. Oh, okay, Lim, I think Com trying to turn a flash there. Isn't able to cover Heat's position. So now we're even on numbers, and the Spike is inexorably heading over towards B, where Aspas lies in wait. Wall gonna come up from Melser, so not gonna be able to get any help from other parts of the map as Ospos with it all to do if they go for the hit, but they don't. This is all a fake, a ruse. They put up the wall to try left. and draw rotates and it's going to allow Shy. Look at his position all the way at the top of the map. Gonna be able to cut off the people rotating back, see if he can get the man advantage for crew here. I have to imagine someone is waiting here. Shy gets the drop on Mazino though. And Aspas denied an opportunity to make a trade of it, but it's all down to Melza now. Enemy remaining. Who's able to get the plant? He can take an early fight from King if he can get it. King has no intention of offering it that easily. Aspas, you see him dash across the sides. Wait a while, so we'll see if they finally get an opportunity to use it in the post plant. Trip's broken by the shock and the exec off the back of it. Because it wastes no time. He get into grips now with his big sign. Here's that Hunter's Fury. And the lines come up pretty nicely. Class not able to finish here, but Com's going to get aggressive behind that wall and he is brought down. Snuffed out. Three left for crew to make their way through this doorway. One enemy remaining. <laughs> and it's just Melzer again. Do they know where he is? They line up for him. See this every now and then mixed in on those ecos, but they have the guns to back this up. Oh, Tex though. Sharp shot. Kesnet with the knives out is brought down. And that's going to force them back into A, where they're going to have to contend with the Viper's pit from King. He's only got the judge in his hands though, so obviously long range fight's not going to be an option. And trying to make some noise for crew like they were going A, but Aspas heard that. He was close by. He heard the footsteps. They know they're going back to B right now. Yeah, I think Mazino also knows something is afoot here. Some shots through the wall. I'm going to back away behind some of this utility in there. It is Klaus. His head goes rolling. Tex doesn't care if he's lit. Meltzer trying to salvage. Shy gets involved now as well, but it's all down to Shy. Spiked a hand and he has the info about where Tex is set up. That cam had to be swatted aside. Still no chance to plant. We're down to 12 seconds left in the round. And this is by time for King to get set up for a crossfire. Oh, no At some point, he's going to go. Defense side calling can move the needle here for crew. Melzer about to get some action. Oh, hey. Getting more than he bargained for there for sure. Quick rotate in from Kesnet. Heat picking up the angle on main. We've got a lurk up pause here. Let's see if it ends up being relevant. Tex is trying to get there. And King brings Heat down. We'll have to plant behind this Viper wall here. There is a late reflank from Klaus. We're running to some of that Viper. Rather, that util from the Cypher. It's just so free. The HP is really low, but Shy is in so early in Klaus. Oh no, he walks into a trip back there as well. They know. They absolutely know. A one versus three for Klaus. The mastermind it feels like they're giving themselves the option to fall off if they need to. He's big. This is a big flank Ooh, kill on Heat. And he sees the spike go loose as well. Now you're feeling pretty awkward if you're Tex. Caught between a rock and a hard place. And he's only good for the trade. Now he could be absolutely bloody anywhere. And what I hope Aspas has his infrared side 30 on. 30 seconds left. How did he find that timing? Aspas with an opportunity. 
Gonna have his dash turned off here. He's trying to get the swing on to heat this tight angle. Tight. He's got the weapon. Perfect. They've still with two to play with and they've been able to recover the spike, but they've got to make a quick hit and crew are not leaving the B side. This one's about to get messy. If you're squeamish, you might want to be looking away. And again, what's the point? You've got the weapons here. Why no throw them time. away? Just no time at all. So much of it wasted. It looked like... Double door push, potentially. Lineup now coming in from King with that molly. Going to force a player off of... Tony Hawk, but no one is actually there. Back sight is catching it on stairs. Is heat now the crossfire setup? Because it was ready for Aspas again. This left. is classic Lev. Make lots of noise. A main try and sneak Aspas in, but the timing didn't favor them at all. One enemy remaining. Crew finding every shot. And King here. They'll be abdicating the throne in just a moment, I suspect. Not been given too much here. Oh, three. Oh, Wait a minute. Ten seconds is not seconds enough to make left. something happen here that's big damage to the economy of crew just as it was beginning to burgeon can you find any more for this could be a timing a of a man. backstab very much embedded and because crew are playing for a retake here this could be an extremely left. powerful spot to play from the chips need to fall the right way though and Aspas isn't ready shy makes his way in a tunnel briefly and he strikes gold that's your hunter's fury now into the post plant with Leviathan, with two players out towards B main still. Here come Crew. Look at that utility coming in backside. Really nice from Crew. So trying to spill out behind that wall as it goes down. Down to three. Now with two players coming in from B main, and King's not ready for it. They don't have eyes on the flank. That was awkward. Kesnit drops to the ground, lifeless eventually. Tex! Oh, unbelievable Tex! over here towards A. It's never gotten pushed down or broken. Now this drone is going to come in and the B exec off the back of it. Aspas needs to be wary of the trip, but again, it's shy. It seems to be his kryptonite on many of these fast hits. And the rest of Leviathan instead want to group up towards Elbow. That's a big pick for Tex. Taking immense amounts of control of Halls, but can't get away. And that was it. Tex taking advantage of the fact that, again, they're setting up two trips on B very often here. Aware of that, walks all the way down. But the pressure on Kesnit here is huge. He knows he's getting pinched from multiple angles. Not enough time for him to respond. Class bottled out by this, but still able to face Mazzino down. down T-pose on him. Spike drop there and right Con was able to recover it. Loud now it takes the wide swing. They're both looking Loud at Bridge here, but Class is playing from under it. What can King do? We've seen him with some beautiful three pieces so far. He can't even cross. And here's that split with the wall coming up from Lev. A split wall cuts across the top of Orange here. Heath does have to face Mazzino down early. Aspas needs to find contact, and he got it, but not how he would have liked it. Heath with three. Eventually brought down inside that Null Command. That Texan King have to put it together. Tap, tap away. Shy brought to heal. Now it's Kesdit, though, with those blades out. Bear in mind, King, no armor to speak of, even though he had a band to his name. It's going to be a tough one to recover from, but he's able to find his third. Now it's Melsa stepping up. King, no armor. It doesn't matter. To wait the dead here. Three players going straight down halls. This may force Crew into some retake positions as they flash themselves out from the Cyber Cage. And yes, Crew are lined up here, right towards their spawn. Cyber Cage going to kick them there for now. My question is, do they try to get in fast off this Hunter's Fury or take their time? And that question has been answered. They're slowing things down just a bit. Four players coming from main, trying to work out of halls with this drone or two of them, and heat is going to be coming through the mid doors. It's going to be about this Hunter's Fury flushing players out of the Viper's Pit, or even better, getting tags into it. Here's that Hunter's Fury. Mazzino spotted, and they're going to bring down the KO. Now he's out of the picture, but the pit will remain. Economy by no means stable for crew, though. Big reflank from Texan mid, too. Can he find this now? It's going to have to be soon, but it was watched. Kestit drew a beat on that well in advance. And now King has to find his way again out of this. Close fence. And there's going to be a drone, I think, from main. Actually, no drone for comp. No, there it goes. He's trying to drone into main. Get this tag now onto Melser so they can spam him down, but he's able to dodge it. Keep the pit up. They've activated Tex into halls now. Let's see how far he can get. Mazzino trying to get up on the stairs, but Tex has been brought down. Hall's control remains under the crew banner. Nice little tight angle there from Shire. King, no opportunity to intervene there. Cam will see it all. King faces him down, but only good for one this time. And Leviathan are slowly losing control of this game, if not already. Come in real quick. 
Com trying to get ahead of it. And he does spot Keslet with the operator in the back there. He has to reposition now. Cyber case to give Lev an opportunity to advance here onto the site. And you see them wanting to push through this Viper wall, but Klaus is trying to preempt it. He doesn't catch Tex. He's going to be there exactly with the right Sheriff. Planted. Keslet wants to step up again. Almost punishes Tex, but Shy also playing from between the pillars. It's Mazzino they're finding two. This is huge. Crew with two players to work with now. And still a rifle on Lev. They're going to back away and play it all from A-Main. Tex and Mazzino, they're not quick enough to get away. Keslet wants to spring forward. Two rifles for Lev, though. Keslet low. They're in trouble here. Trying to double face this could be complicated. Melza, one standing. for one. Keslet versus King. The two headliners in this game. Now for a pivot. Um, can ask us get some space off of it. Keslet forced it back. Heat, though, is going to try and hold the line in the meantime. Hunter's Fury getting fired off here. Comms able to find Heat. KO's out of the picture there. That's a big one. Keslet somehow not being looked at by Aspas. At least able to trade it out, but Texas there again. Player advantage to work with for Lev, but Chai is going to get all the info. Okay, standard setups he sees here for Leviathan. The Aldrone that will spot out the location of this Cypher. They're going to swing past that snake bite. Milza gets no help from They're going to have to contend with the Cypher setup, Lev. They go for this B hit. He's rattling the cage, Mazzino over at B. How well can he sell this? I mean, he. Well, sold his soul for it, so he'd better hope it works out. Keslet, those able to get deep left. here through a main crew in the advantage position by a good deal. I love this from Lev. They're planting back pyramid. Oh, Keslet picks off King in the back in halls. He was lurking there for so long. They plant back pyramid. They're trying to play forward. Like Tex, you can see him here, but he might get caught by Heat as well. These positions are so awkward. No Lev player's ability to hold for each other. Pass, pass. Finding the one here, but where does Com go from here? There's too many angles to cover, and Aspas would have to go absolutely ultra instinct to save this round. But he may as well have a crack at it. It won't! Whatsoever for Leviathan and Kuru already encroaching here through tunnel. And Keslet's ready to dash in. He goes for it, trying to get ahead of the drone! Com can't hold his ground. Tex now has to fight from this back corner, and he's been fantastic from this place on this map. Another one will be massive. And he does get it. Eventually trade it out, though. Aspas and King now have to make it happen, but they've got a long walk to get to B. King's just going for it. Keep waiting. Swings it. Aspas now with it all to do once more. As his dash up, into the smoke he goes. Doubles back for a moment to see if he has crossed through archers. He's got to make it here. Feel comfortably enough. No, actually, they go ahead of it. Aspas gets caught. Okay, no punish. He slipped through, but only just. They haven't actually broken the cameo, though. There Someone it goes. Now, but Tex spotted out. Great first kill. Drone is going to come up now to try to get some space for crew. Aspas trying to go for a variation there. Rewarded with some damage on Shy, but nothing more. Shy wants to push through that cyber cage here, and Mazino's already gone down. Aspas trying to wrap the right hand side. Klaus not ready for it, but he got Kiss and crew. Two, who were more than a formidable opponent. I love this. They've, they've watched the footage. This is classic led to group with three and play that B main at the start of the pistol. Crew are waiting for it. And the pace now that they're moving through tree, gonna play it safe. Get into that site, get the spike down. Only Tex to contend with. Not too shabby. That's two for Tex. Going down immediately after, but gives Lev a fighting chance in this round. Mazzino. <laughs> Yeah, Hunter and Gatherer just getting Spike his dinner, planted. as well as an attempt at unraveling this set of defensive rounds. That's where Lev wants to pop aggressively. Look at the cycle door. Everybody into tree. So fast into sight off the Prowler now and the Paranoia. King saw nothing in the end, and he's going to be caught outside of the play. Takes the lone defender on a proper. Was already taken down. Spike King planted. at least rewarded for his patience. But now three players from crew shacked up inside A with Heat in tree. And Heat's still one orb away from the Nightfall. If he gets one kill, it'll be online. Shadows. Some stairs presence now. Mazina with the smoke over towards that A site. The paranoia to be played off of here with a potential explosion from stairs by Aspas. There's the Noia. King cycling that door here, but Mazino able to bring Melza down. Here's Aspas. Can he do more? Just the one. Just the one. Acceleration early on in that round to get into the site through tree. When Shy was over on the opposite side of the map, saw that aggression coming, see. 
and they just went Last for it. Crew start by probing at B. There's no real Killjoy util to contend with for them here. Kesnet opts not to go to upper, but that's something that King is still going to have to check. But I wouldn't want to be checking this right now. Kesnet fires off the showstopper, and King descends on heat. Now the counter showstopper popped as well. Not going to get any value, but didn't need to. Klaus trying to hold down Baby Door. The nade's going to force him to the right to play that close angle. He might find something here despite being paranoid. No Aspas wins out. Standing. Now, now to Kesnet in a 1v2, absolutely doable. But the TP is going to cause a problem. A virtual high-low setup put together between Tex and Mazzino. The same level of commitment, though, from Leviathan. They aren't playing rubble, and now they explode as soon as that wall comes down. Aspas mows him down. A. Happy to trade the two for one now. As he will be looking to take a fight. Just a raw fight for he, and he gets there. More raw than Liver King's diet, I'd say. Oh, stunning stuff. Inside the seas, absolutely unbothered. You have got to be, and he just, just to give him some safety. It's not going to pull anyone across. Lev have kept three players over on this part of the map. He's a lockdown in the prescribed location. Aspas doesn't look like he has the angle he feels to take it out. He's going to back away instead. He wasn't advanced enough on the site. So here come crew, what crutching a, on in. What a great attack round so far. Melzer making that noise, playing off the wall, having the TP to get with the rest of the team while they get the free site of the lockdown. This is so nice. And then Klaus has the pit for post plant. This is so oppressive. Fantastic play right now from crew. Great round up until this point. Aspas has to dive in, take a deep breath. It's going to be a TP coming out now. It's actually going to be cancelled. Klaus going to be brought down early. He has the box position, and it turns out to be a one for one. Kesten on the side is going to be there, though. It's Mazzino v. Kesten, the one v. one. Mazzino would love to try and get up on the box, get a different angle. Here, but time is ticking down. Aspas and Kesten each, they've exchanged one fantastic map. And now on to the third. Kesten beginning to steal the show with the aggression oh, rail. And they're gonna stay, why not? He forced back, eventually taken down by the paint shell. Shy says, well, in for a penny, in for a pound, they say. I'll take those odds. Shy trying to force takes off that angle. Kuristan group to Mazzino's shoulder peak. Gives him the confirmation. Oh, and Kesnet gonna find that first blood on to Mazzino, removing those smokes, trades back and forth now into B. Shy with the molly even to get that advantage back. And it's Heat who's just been maintaining a little bit of control towards Rubble, going to allow the rest of the team to gather up so they can retake this space now. Try and go through Tree into this A hit. Spread thin. The spread's so thin. The man with it all on his shoulders, an ultimate in his hands if he needs it. What opportunity will you have to make use of it though? Okay, they can't double swing off the Satchel from Kesson. He's a couple seconds too fast. What? But Aspas is shut down with a showstopper in hand. It's still a 2v2 though. Come here like on the wrap. Shy in deep trouble now, the Nightfall confirms. One player in pit, one coming up A long. He gets the first 1v1. Turret here to take contact for him, but Com is going to tether him in place. Shy. Looking for the plan, he's gonna get it. Com is gonna have to take his time, and here's the swing. He's gonna come in, it's gonna be a lot of pressure on Mazzino, the backside anchor. This is fast, Mazzino never was gonna be ready for that. The Nightfall came in, cuts that noise. Here's the lockdown combo now from both sides. This could get a little awkward. King wants to try and find a time in the swing from door, but already crew have conceded that mount presence. Still a player detained though. No chance to capitalize. Kesnet will be covered by the rest of crew and in they come. Leviathan now locked down this. We we're unsure if there was action happening at the rest of the map, but they didn't cancel. Yeah, yeah Lev were actually pulling off there for a moment. They're gonna have to retake now. Four versus five. Not a ton of utility to do so with. Aspas has a nade. There's a haunt in the hands of Calm. Similarly, not much for crew, but they have the man advantage. They can post up in the crossfires. If they just trade out by the numbers, they should be winning. Them. It's a 4v4 though, because Shy is not in a position to intervene and there's not a flank on the way. Eventually, Shy starts to realize that, but here comes the push onto the side. Pitter paddle, little footstep now. Let me can't step up and Tex. Beautiful from Tex. Melsa though, almost. This wall goes down. They're going to have three angles to contend with. Here we go. Curtain comes down, and the show has only just begun. Class here on the swing, but again, that off angle's so hard to break. Aspas with a satchel over the top. One more close is going to knock Shy off his footing. That's obnoxious. Mazzino paranoia to force him back now. 
Zeno cannot play off that one way, cannot hold that line, and that has allowed Crew to get in through True. They're all converging. All five of them are coming. You can hear the thundering of footsteps. It's a one for one for now. Mizzino forced back, very low, and he's about to take a lot of contact, and we're still able to find one. Ridiculous. Melsa here playing from below. That smoke's gonna give him the cover he needs for his team to get this plant. Tex is making his way over towards stairs here. It's gonna be a minute before he's set up to capitalize. Yeah. Well, that off angle. King tries for a little bit of spray. But we do have a lot of crossfire set up to cover pit, to cover heaven. And now we have the smoke refreshed. Leviathan are gonna have to go for something here. They're gonna have to throw caution to the wind and step up to the plate. Here's Klaus though, beautifully done. Tex able to trade it now, looking over towards tree. Kesnit's gonna be there. Tex now under the gun. But he's got a powerful one in his grip. Might look to half, might look to stick. Just a unbelievable correction. Go for some headshots. And look at this pinch act of danger from, from Crew. It's gonna be Shy and Heat getting involved. One Three remaining. for Shy. Wow. And that explosion oh. through door. That's gonna be a tough one to bounce back from. Com goes, all right. Well, I guess it's on me again. And it's gonna be all of Crew. Set up here with crossfires on that C mound. Be virtually impossible to break. And this is what you should expect from a Crew defense side. Proactivity is a word we're throwing around a lot. It doesn't do it justice, Wyatt. It's it's almost crazed what we see from them. <laughs> it is at times, and it does feel crazed, but there is a cohesiveness to it, and it's not always with those big utility plays on defense where you're seeing a flash come over top, and there's a paranoia, and there's a jet dash, and he's coming out of the sweat. Like, oftentimes, it is just really Nothing cool. to work with. Nothing in that Leviathan pantry with which to cook. A crew is on that Michelin style hype. Just a one for one. So it's really only going to be shy here for now and two players coming out through waterfall. Let's get themselves a post fun, an unlikely turn of events here. And again now, they're gonna throw their poison orb up on the site to section it up even further. Lev's starting to go up a gear. Crew clean into this though, and he wants to take a fight. He wants to get involved, and again, it's always seen to be traded, but Kesnit will fall down after it, getting the one for one. Now it's on Shy, who only has a sheriff to work with. Like an angel of death, he drops down. Claims text for himself. Don't interrupt my work. Not much help to work with, but a nice amount at the very least. He's gonna get pinched from either side. Dangerous. They might want to move quickly here. They have slowed up the tempo, but Melsa shows himself, and now the pressure for the attackers is going to mount. Klaus more than happy to spray. Back away. Kesson is obviously out of the picture. Ain't great for Crew, but they've got more to step up in his stead. Not counting Klaus, perhaps. And he has to swing into three from drop. This is getting ugly, but Melsa has arrived from that long flank. He will group up with Shy now and try to get into this side. The timing from Mizzino is prescient. Yeah. One way otherwise would give. Tech's not extending any further into it, but this could be ugly. No chance to get away. No damage done even. Uncharacteristic moment from Tex there. And all of that map now controlled by crew. They're going to go for it here. They know they can lean into a weakly held side. It's just going to be heat. He'll have to find his spot very carefully. Spike planted. How do they want to post up here with this man disadvantage? Okay. With a massive kill, going to be able to recover that rifle as well. A third one now in the hands for crew on this retake. Looking perhaps for a gun to pick up. He didn't find it. It's going to be the showstopper as Aspas cannons himself over to the top of A. Looking for more, but it's not being offered for the time being. Kesner playing it safe around that hero rifle. And eventually, he emerges once more from stairs to take yet another. That is set up on B again. That nightfall is going to come in, which is going to force Klaus back. Not going to be able to get any spam off with that Odin. But look at this. He's trying to come in really fast to support him actually in the site. They're trying to hold this thing down. He's interrupting their spacing. They're not expecting him to be so close. And he's already found two. Kestis there as well. Oh, buddy. Crew. Strap yourselves in, folks. This is about to get wilder and wilder. Going out. Mizzina now awkwardly a long way away from that spike. 30 seconds Were we in a safer spot? They might have considered a save here. And there's a bit of money to work with, at least for Leviathan. This is looking ugly. I'll be straight with you. Player standing. Just Mazzino now, able to get the trade. That's all she wrote. Does Mazzino dare go for the TP, pick up the spike? No, oh. he doesn't. That would have been left. a mad play. And I was, is he, is he crazy enough? 
is he crazy enough? But no, he isn't. It's he defending. It's gonna provide constant information for them. One way cycled on A, but Melzer gonna feel the pressure, King! Crucial entry kill, and now Kesnit on the rush towards Baby Door to pick this angle up. King has a feeling for the timing, though. He doesn't overextend to expose himself to Baby Door. But Leviathan trend back, and Crew seem to have a sense for this, too. Shiloh has to contact Pete this wide. He's got no other choice. That's so wide. So punishable. So unnecessary. And now Klaus to save off the entire hit. Five players. How has this happened? He has to do it yet again. Door flung wide open. He announces himself with a flourish and a kill. Mazzino's seen better days. He's low, but Texas waiting for the repeak. It's up to Kesnit now. And Levitan are going to commit. 17 seconds left, Kesnit now in the one versus three, trying to split them up. The rest of the team feeling comfortable to gather up there. Oh my god, and... That was stairs. I mean, what was that, a jump peek, a jiggle, just gets picked off by Osboss? He's finally punished for that. And they're gonna cancel on the beach here, this is big. Now again, Viper's Pit post-plant is on the table. For Leviathan. And they've got good anti-flank pressure. Showstopper now for Aspas to dissuade any upper presence. Really good call from Lev there, that kill onto A and just the pace at which you can get from A and pivot into B through Baby Door. It's just so easy. Are they gonna give this up? With heat down, digged into the site. Crew yet to sniff this out, but they're about to know exactly where their bread is butted. Aspas, Nate over A, non-committal still for Leviathan. There's always the option of a B finish, but that seems absurd from this standpoint. They're going for it. Straight into Baby Door. They're going to get some attention here immediately from up, but that's checked though by Mazzino. They know Shy is waiting for them. Six seconds left. Shy in a position to disrupt, but can't see the plant for it. Aspas is waiting for him. Four up for Crew to make this retake, but Leviathan a squeaky clean with it. Paranoia, can he capitalize? No targets. King shows him only the barest top of his head. And they are setting up for B. Smoke towards Baby Door. Crew have to have a sense for this. Aspas has gone straight in. Not to upper. They're actually grouping up to receive the push here from Goblin. Shy explodes. A one for one here. Kesnik grouping up and is going to satchel him with a showstopper now. That is stunning. How does Tech survive it? Death defying antics. But it's a three versus three. And now we're headed over towards C. Cue the Benny Hill theme song is left now. Find. A chance to plant. We have a three versus three with the series on the line. These post-plant positions are fantastic. Mazzino, paranoia, calm utility as well. They've flipped the site on its head and this pit, it's going to allow them to get into the site, but no more than that. They're Clock still, ticking. They're still gonna have to fight for a Wyatt. Melsa has some mobility. With those shrouded steps. Class with an orb up on the spike. It's gonna get a tickle. Mazzino. Trying to fight through that smoke. They're going to be patient about it. They know these are just fakes. He's on the corner, but Cobb comes alive! And what a time to